rapide, allez on part. Hello everyone and welcome to Who is Best, or in this case, What is Best? Today we will be examining one of the greatest games ever made, Nier Automata. Nier Automata is an action RPG with stunning graphics, an ultra strange post-apocalyptic storyline, and one of the most intuitive and entertaining battle systems ever created. This is mostly due to the insane variety of weapons at your disposal. Swords, great swords, spears, gauntlets, even a rusty old pipe. Each weapon has two unique skills. If that wasn't enough, you can equip two of these awesome weapons, which allows for never ending combos. Today we will be examining these weapons and, as is the norm around here, placing them in tier lists. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the list to hear the best weapon combos for your playthrough. Now this is going to be tricky. The game devs at Platinum Games knew what they were doing. This game is incredibly balanced and with the right setup, you could play through the hardest difficulty with the weakest weapons and still be a god. With that being said, we're all about shattering dreams and making weebs cry, so let's get to the list. Now, because there are 40 different weapons in this game, we are going to be doing this in groups. I will delve into individual weapons once we hit the top tier and god tier, but to get us started, let's look at the ah. tier. The crap tier is made up of nine weapons, all of which serve really only one purpose. Yora Issue Blade, Machine Sword, Machine Axe, Machine Spear, Machine Heads are all used primarily for shop discounts. Sure, the machine weapons have a kill meter that increases in damage as you defeat enemies, but there are still plenty of better options for you to choose from that hand out more consistent damage. The final weapon, the crap tier, is also one of the last you get. Emil's head is more of a collector's item than a weapon. Its insanity skill calls out attacks as you fight, which, well... Low tier. Pretty much half of the weapons land on this tier. Not because they're bad, but because they have a hard time standing out from the rest. There are plenty of fan favorites on this list, like the Phoenix weapons, which heal you as you attack, or the Beast Lord from the original Nier. I'm sure that some fans are going to be angry to find them here, but in the end, there are better single blades and combos past this tier. With that being said, here is the low tier. The Beast Bane, Phoenix Dagger, Cruel Oath, Iron Will, Beast Lord, Phoenix Sword, Cruel Blood Oath, Phoenix Lance, Beast Curse, Dragoon Lance, Type 3 Lance, Virtuous Dignity, Cruel Arrogance, Type 3 Fists, Type 40 Fists, Virtuous Grief, Cruel Lament. Now if you haven't quit out of this video yet, why don't you hit the subscribe button for more tier lists. Also follow me on Twitter at LowCloud8. Now let's get back to the list. Mid tier. Now we are moving into weapons that don't just have one good use, but multiple uses. Faith is a fast moving sword that can be paired with another small sword like Virtuous Treaty to make a never ending combo that heals you. Fang of the Twins paired with Cypress Stick can do some insane damage. Really, you can't go wrong with these weapons. So here they are. Faith, Fang of the Twins, Cypress Stick, Type 3 Fists, Ancient Overlord, Angel's Folly, The Engine Blade from Final Fantasy XV, which that was a cool detail. I'm really glad that was in there. I, I do wish that the second skill wasn't just for looks, but it was pretty cool. Anyway, now we are into the most important weapons of the game. Every weapon here can serve multiple roles and can easily get you through the hardest difficulties. So without further ado, I give you the top tier. The Iron Pipe is a strange weapon to say the least, but don't let that fool you. This short sword has crit plus and high stun abilities. Both those together make for an extremely deadly weapon. And remember, these skills stack. The Iron Pipe is a great companion to any weapon combo imaginable. 
Type 3 Blade is a mob destroyer. With this weapon, you can throw yourself into a fray of enemies with little worry. Endurance Up gives you a significant defense boost, while Finish Blast makes an explosion every time you defeat an enemy. We'll be seeing the Type 3 Blade again in the best combos. The Type 40 Blade is easily the coolest looking weapon in the game. This greatsword boasts a high attack stat as well as a stun plus ability that can immobilize your enemy. It also boasts the Type 40 unique skill, Energy Charge, which increases your damage after not being used for a few seconds. This weapon is ideal for boss fights as it can immobilize as well as hand out heavy damage all in one package. Virtuous Contract is the first weapon you get. It is one of the best small swords in the game, which is surprising since, as I said, it is your first weapon. The Virtuous Contract and Treaty make up one of the best weapon combos in the game, and I don't think this was by accident. This sword boasts higher attack speeds, which makes it deadly paired with a weapon like Faith, and has the Virtuous Unique skill Holy Blessing, which increases attack when you are at full HP. Almost nothing surpasses it. Now if that wasn't enough, it is time for the God Tier. There are three specific weapons in God Tier and all three are indispensable in very hard difficulty. The first is the Spear of the Usurper. Now if you've done any research into weapons for this game, you will know that spears aren't the best type. In fact, this is the only spear that made it past the low tier. This is due to the weapon's strange fighting style that only attacks ahead. But if you're wanting to fight with one of these, look no further than the Spear of the Usurper. This weapon has the overpowered Crit Plus skill, which remember is stackable, so paired with the Iron Pipe, Ancient Overlord, or Fang of the Twins can be deadly by itself. But Spear of the Usurper is the only weapon with the skill Turncoat, which has a chance of turning an enemy over to your side, thus causing it to attack its fellow machines. This skill can rock a huge mob of enemies with deadly force. Next we have Virtuous Treaty, which again, is the first weapon you start with. This weapon boasts high attack speed and that oh so awesome holy blessing which increases attack when you are at full HP. Being a large sword with high attack, this thing is deadly as a primary or secondary weapon. Finally, we have Demon's Cry. Gauntlets are awesome weapons to use. They're fast, especially with attack speed up, which is a skill this weapon has, and pretty versatile as a primary or secondary weapon. But what makes this gauntlet god tier is the skill Devil's Hatred, which adds a shockwave after defeating an enemy. This destroys mobs as they will have no time to attack you, because you will be tearing through them with the literal hands of Satan. Okay, maybe not. But if you are looking for the best weapon in the game, Demon's Cry may very well take the cake. Now, as far as best weapon combos in game, this depends heavily on playstyle and chip setup. But overall, there are three ideal setups. The first is Demon's Cry as the primary weapon with Type 3 Blade as the secondary. This will annihilate mobs of enemies as it will send shockwave after shockwave. The increased defense and speed also helps you to be well-rounded in attack and defense. The next is the original Virtuous setup. As long as you keep your HP full, this setup will have the most damage output in the entire game. Lightning fast attacks along with Holy Blessing will be ideal for boss battles. Just be sure to dodge attacks. Finally, the most unique pairing, the Iron Pipe and Spear of the Usurper. Now, though an odd pairing, this setup will have you taking down bosses with insane critical hits or brainwashing mobs to do your bidding. Either way, this is a very versatile setup that won't let you down. And there's my list. Let me know what your weapon combos are. When I beat the game the first time, I used Faith and Virtuous Contract. I loved how I literally never stopped attacking and healed all the while. But that's enough about this, please just enjoy watching the gorgeous babe 2B as you subscribe.